Hey guys, Josh here, and today we are looking at some USB-C hubs from Andobil. So they actually sent me two different models to review for you guys, so without further ado, let's get into the video. So with both of these right out of the box, you get the USB-C hub, and each comes with its own protective case. Not sure that I'll actually end up using these, but it's nice that it comes with something. Now the 7-in-1 hub will only work with MacBook Pros from 2016 and up, or any Retina MacBook Air models. So if you're using a PC or an older Mac laptop, then this won't be useful to you at all. So we get a single HDMI output, two USB Type-C ports, two standard USB ports, and micro and SD card readers. And of course, this one doesn't have any cables attached. You just plug the entire thing into the side of your MacBook Pro or Air, and it's ready to go. In the few days that I have been testing it out, it has worked perfectly for me. I can plug in multiple devices, including my 4K USB-C monitor, along with a 1080p monitor and everything works as it should. It is also ultra lightweight and portable, so if you're on the go a lot, you can easily just throw it in your pocket, grab your laptop and go. The only thing I don't like about it is that the ports are not very deep, so you can see part of the connector sticking out. It's not a big deal and it doesn't affect the connection at all, but I wouldn't mind if it was slightly thicker just to hide that. So moving on to the 9-in-1 USB-C hub, we get a single USB-C port, four standard USB ports, one of which is a fast charging port, micro and SD card readers, a single HDMI out, and a gigabit ethernet port. So if more ports is what you're looking for, then this is definitely the best one for your money. I generally like using this one better at a desktop just because I can plug it in and hide it behind my laptop and not have to see all kinds of cables coming out of the side. And I also get much better internet speeds when plugging in an ethernet cable instead of using Wi-Fi. But it does have a few drawbacks. First, I wasn't able to run the same 4K monitor that I was running with the other one. So when I plugged it into the USB-C power delivery port, it just didn't work. For me, this wasn't a huge issue since I still have access to the other USB-C port on my MacBook Pro. And I can always plug the hub directly into the back of my monitor if I wanted to run two displays. However, if you are running HDMI monitors, then you won't have any issues with this either way. This hub is also noticeably heavier, coming in at 130 grams, which is about four times that of the 7-in-1 hub. And it does work without plugging into the power delivery port, but if you're running a lot of devices, you'll want to power it to avoid any issues. So I would recommend going with the 7-in-1 model if you are a MacBook Pro or Retina Air user. I just found it much easier to use, and it has more than enough ports for me. And as I said before, if you're a PC user or you just need the additional ports, then the 9-in-1 model is the obvious choice. As far as the color goes, you can get them in gray or silver. And as of right now, the 7-in-1 model is on sale for $59.99 and the 9-in-1 model is on sale for $49.99. So there are definitely much cheaper options out there, especially if you don't need so many ports. But after using these for a few days, I can say that you get what you pay for. So if you want to pick one up for yourself, I will leave a link in the description below. And that wraps it up. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, then be sure to smash that like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, then make sure to subscribe to the channel. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.